Hey, just like me family, Michelle here with another in our Meet the Author series. We have a great book for you guys this week. It is Tiffany Parker and Just Like Your Daddy. Tiffany, thank you so much for coming to talk to us today. Thank you, Michelle, for having me. I'm so excited. No problem. We are going to jump right into it. And I, we were talking off camera a couple minutes ago about the book and, and how that phrase can be, um, you know, so negative sometimes. And I love how you've taken that phrase and turned it around. Can you tell our viewers really quickly, what was your reason for writing the book? What was your journey? How did you get to where you are now? Yeah. So one of the reasons that I wanted to write the book is because I was looking for bedtime stories for my son. We, we typically do bedtime stories and couldn't really find books that look like him, that had his big curly hair, that looked like his dad with the fade and a beard. Um, you know, I couldn't find the representation that I necessarily was looking for. So I wanted to create it. And so I was thinking of, you know, different ideas on how to do so, what topics and, you know, something that um, I could be passionate about or, or not just put out a book just to put out a book. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought back to a moment years, years ago, even before my first child was even born and I was in Target and I saw this mom and the little boy, he probably was like four or five, was wanting a piece of candy. And she, you know, just kind of in front of everyone, like, you just like your daddy, always wanting something. And that kind of just stuck with me for years mm -hmm. and would always go back and thinking, you know, if I ever, and parent, we aren't perfect. I understand that. Um, but if I ever, you know, have a son or have a child, I don't ever want that to be. So when he hears that phrase, you're just like your daddy, to him associating it with something negative or something bad all the time, you know, why not be able to switch that and make it into something positive to where, when he hears that, like, it's always a good thing. And that's what I did. I, that's why I created the book. I love that. Just Like Me is all about creating positive imagery and association yeah. for children of color. So uh, that, that's why we that's why we recommend the book. That's why we're talking today. And I love that story. What can you tell us a little bit more about what the book is about? Yeah, so it's a book filled with affirmations. It's actually like a love story to my son. Um, just giving him different uh, scenes in the book. Um, one time he is looking in the mirror and his dad is standing next to him and it's, you know, you are so handsome and you, you know, you're such a great leader. You can do, you know, all the hard things just like your daddy, different um, points of affirmation that I can read or any parent can read to their, their young son or even your daughter, mm -hmm. um, you know, anytime during the day, especially at, at, at bedtime. Um, and then at the end of the book, it has a list, a list of affirmations that the child can repeat or once they're a little bit older, can say them themselves. And it, it, it's in first person. So it's I am brave. I am strong. And so um, I put that in there so that as they get a little bit older or maybe even, you know, now kind of instilling that in them in those positive values. I love that. I have a four year old as well. And, um, and we do affirmations every night for the same exact reasons. And I think that the book, I've, I've read the book and I think that it doesn't matter if it's a girl or a boy, it's exactly. a positive representation and those affirmations at the end are absolutely great. Um, are you working on anything else right now? Uh, um, like, cause I obviously like, you know, once what we find as, as we become authors <laughs> is, you know, um, you, you never usually just write one book and or yeah. one book morphs into something else. So are you working in anything else right now? Yeah. So it's it's funny because it's like, OK, it was a struggle to get through, you know, getting the book created. I'm like, once this is done, like this is it. But then like once I and I was even nervous to even put it out, like I sat on the book for probably four months before I even hit publish, it was finished. Um, but then once I saw that it resonated with so many people and they were like, oh my gosh, this is so needed. We needed this. And so I'm like, okay, like I'm going to get out of my own head and preach to my own self and have my own affirmations to do this. So I am currently working on some affirmation cards for little kids that will be available um, probably within the next couple of weeks or so on my site. Um, my daughter now, she's six, wants to write a book. She goes, mommy, I need a girl book. So <laughs> we are currently working on that. Um, so hopefully within the next few months, we'll be able to see that come to fruition as well. That is amazing. And I love that your daughter is like, mommy, I want to write a book too. That is I amazing. Know. Where can yeah. listeners find a copy of your book? 
Um, I'm on Amazon, I'm on Walmart, Barnes and Noble, and Books a Million. Um, but you can also get signed copies on my website, which is graceandcokids.com. Awesome. And you guys can also find a copy of uh, Just Like Your Daddy on the Just Like Me pick site of the Just Like Me website. Tiffany, it was great talking to you today. Thank you so much for sharing your book with us. Thank you so much for having me, Michelle. This has been so fun. Thank you.